So, I upgrade my computer a lot. That's, it's not a mystery. I figured I might as well just do like the biggest upgrade that I can, just get it done and out of the way. So Asus hit me up and they were like, yo, you sound like a pretty cool guy. Want us to send you a free motherboard? And I'm like, no mom, I don't want broccoli. Because in reality, they probably don't know ex I exist. So I had to come to terms with buying my own components. So that's pretty much what this is. I, I just kind of figured, you know what? Let's just finish. So a good computer builder always Which you are not. swipes his components off the table. Or for Linus's case, he drops them. He just drops them. Yep. So all of this is pretty much everything that has, that is currently in my computer. And then like this was in my computer, but I already made the video about this. You can go check it out. So what am I actually going to need? I know I'm gonna need more cables out of here. Okay, I'm gonna need mounting hardware out of this, so I'll leave this out. This this pile is probably worth more than my life. Um, We're just gonna move this thing. I'm gonna really move this in the box, but I'll rock the print. Hopefully his head doesn't pop off. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you you start with. Ugh. Boy, oh, this is dusty. Yeah, I know. I didn't get the chance. Do you to need dust. like a Swiffer? Nope. I came prepared. Oh. Power of Christ compels you. I'm just, I'm just gonna wipe. Oh off. my god, look at these fans. I'm just gonna wipe off your back. Plate. Oh no, you I should, never clean these fans you ever. Sh you should probably flip it over and clean the power supply fan. I got this. One of the reasons I picked this case up. It's because it has a. Yeah, but just in case. It's like a dust filtration. I love, I love how it's more dusty over here at the front than it is at the power supply. Blue Did you coats. know? That Ohio is actually one of the states with the most micro centers. Yeah, to me, I have like three. Yeah, we have three. And then there's like one or two other states that have like two. Well, I was going to say four. Uh, there's there's a couple that have four, okay. and then everything else has like two or one. Okay, so do you want to take the graphics card out and the. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay, what do I want to do now? I got to get the motherboard Head out sink. first, but I kind of want to like clean out some of these. Fans. Take out the heat sink first. You oh, mean the, the water block? Yes. Okay. Remember, kids, always unscrew in a cross pattern. Do you know what you should do? You should be like the PC part finger guys to get like an anti static band. Oh, one and a half. Ah, I dropped a screw. That's okay. It landed on the RAM slot. No biggie. I kind of want to swap some of these fans around. Like, I'm kind of thinking about making it an intake because right now I have negative airflow. Air comes in and this way. And shoots out this way. And shoot. Yeah. Okay. So. Do I want to put them up here, bringing air in? Or do I want to make life complicated and then not do that so I have to like take the whole thing off and clean the radiator? Mm. I think that's a better idea. Okay. Uh, I've got to like pull this thing up. I would, I would laugh if you put Oh! Oh Good. my goodness, there are cables like routed behind what? the motherboards. Grub dub dub. Oh no! I thermal pasted my socket. There. Pretty much clean good enough is fine. Oh wait, the thing. Okay, one more dose of... Oh, you got it on the board. Ah! It's actually okay, because alcohol I don't believe is conductive or whatever, and it dries faster. It evaporates quicker, so, that's cool. so it's like not that big of a deal. I don't think I've ever removed the span. Oh wait, the cable is behind the motherboard tray. Probably freaking cable damaged all nice. Oh well, I don't care. Um, here, I'll put one screw back in. Because, I mean, I don't think, like I said, I don't think I've ever taken this fan out, so if I can put a motherboard in here with the fan in place, I can take a motherboard out with the fan in place. Is this like standard ATX motherboard? It looks pretty thin. 
I know mine's not really that standard. I was gonna say, cause don't ATX motherboards normally have like eight screws? It was nice knowing you, Ram. We had to go through highs and lows to get you out of this box. Remember when it was still in the plastic security case? Like dad had to take a hack. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause I didn't take it out for some reason. <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, it was an honest mistake, but I mean. They just didn't want you to have it. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to make my life complicated. They, they just wanted your money. They didn't want you to they actually have it. They want my money. It. They didn't want me to give me a good product. Just kidding. I love you, Microsoft. There's no oh, God, where's uh, it? I need to put the with the cheese. I've never actually taken a processor out of the socket before. Put one in. No, take one out. Like That's that. a sound. I don't like this noise. It's, it's metal, metal on, on, on like is laminated it, cardboard. Yeah. Just say it's not cardboard. Yeah. It should be making a noise. Does anybody actually use those driver CDs? Windows 8. Probably not. Um, you really shouldn't because you can get. Um, Newer drivers off of the website. Yeah. Did you already open the box for? Yeah. There's the there. There, CPU's back in. Ooh, it's yeah, thicker. It's, it's nice and shiny. It's thicker. Looks like it was brand new. Yeah, it totally doesn't have fingerprints and smudges all over. Fingerprints and thermal paste nonsense. Here, I'll show you the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the bottom. Jesus Christ. The socket is like a lot larger than you. Well, no, really. No, don't touch my. I will kill you. I got this. Okay, well, before we do that, I'm actually going to. Don't look at me. I'm just. Why are you like bouncing up and down? I'm, I'm, I'm man spreading. You got this one. No, no. <laughs> Good job, Dan. Happened. What happened? You shot the freaking point out. That's great. You genius. I love it. Yo, any like sponsorships, you should hit this guy up. This video is totally gonna get monetized. Yeah, Corsair Gaming, Asus. Hit Gigabyte. Intel. You spend like almost 400 bucks on one of your processors, you should, you should give him some kind of recognition. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much as good as I'm gonna get those. That's my system you're touching. What do you think you're doing there? I'm actually gonna have to blow this out, so. I can do that in a little bit. Look, I did it. Look at all these cables. The things you don't see with liquid coolers. I don't think I said this yet, but this is like food for thought for a new computer. Oh my God. Oh. What is it like frosting up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of I'm just gonna let that sit. Viewing all of this, um, viewing computer building online, like watching people do it in videos and stuff, that doesn't really do you justice when you actually get the parts in person, because they're a lot either bigger or smaller than you think. Like, this is much bigger than you would normally think. Like, cause like the processor, the head of the processor is like that big. Mm -hmm. And then the liquid cooler itself is like three inches across. And I mean, these are 140 millimeter fans. And, I mean, it's literally right in the name. Just go pull up like, uh, a ruler. Go pull up a tape measure. Just measure out 140 millimeters, and you'll see how big across these fans are. I still want to get that other fan out in the back. The, the oh, yeah. two in the front that took a long time to put in because I had to like completely remove the hard drive cage and then like screw the fans back. And in. then meanwhile, all of us were pretty much done. You were still putting in the motherboard. Yeah. Wait, does the Hue Plus come with the two-sided tape? No. Oh. I modded my case with double-sided tape. It's a modder's best friend. Okay, so what do I want to start with? I should probably start with that, yeah. I guess it's time. Here we go, today I'm gonna be doing an Asus ROG Strix unboxing. <laughs> we got the mudba, we got the book, we got this, we got- we get the cables. Things, and we got this thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is much wider than both of ours. Here's something that I was kind of confused about. These aren't RGB. These are stickers, and you peel these off. And it, they only came with four other colors. They or three other colors. 
They came in purple, pink, green, green. and orange. Use God, it sounds like I'm breaking it. Use those nails. God, that is very strong adhesive. Uh, oh, don't rip it off. I feel like I'm breaking it, but I'm not. That is very strong adhesive. Jesus. Yeah, I think this adhesive was supposed to come off with it. But, but it, it didn't. But it didn't. Do you need like something? Do I to... want to go get a heat gun? Not really. Do you have a heat gun? No, I have a hair dryer. I kind of wish these weren't installed from the get go and that you could take them off oh a lot God. easier. I got it. Yeah, you can like pry it up. Well, do you have like a flathead? Mm -hmm. You get the flathead. But I mean, this is here now. Actually, that may work a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like a spudger. This is needlessly complex. Do you want to make it the hair dryer? It's like a tumor. So you're doing a Jerry rig video. Jerry ah! Oh no! It got stuck. Word of advice for anyone installing this motherboard. I would kind of recommend you get like a heat gun or something to deal with this. Otherwise you're gonna leave a lot of residue behind. But luckily... Oh my god, I would laugh if you just rip the chipset off. Rip the whole heat sink off? Yes. Africa, what does this do? That is a debug LED. Oh. So... Instead of your computer like turning on and then not posting and being super confused as you're trying to figure out everything that's like, going wrong with it, this shows a number. Hmm. And then all you do is you check the, mo the motherboard manual. Like as you can see yeah. right here. So like zero, blah, 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 all the way through. So say, say it was code 5A, yeah, it would be a, a CPU, CPU problem. My question for Asus is this. Why pink, green, and white? Why not red, green, and blue, and then silver? Just leave it. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Rips like halfway through. It's like oh. it's like taking the first screen protector off of a phone. It's like you just hear like a nice little like slide going down. You're like. Oh. I never got to do that with my G6. No, I got to do it with my it G6. It made me so sad. You got a good camera angle? Yes. Oh, you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a fat processor. Jesus Christ. That's like... That's, that's like, that's like half the size of Threadripper. That's how it is compared... <laughs> Red Ripper looking like a freaking business card up in here. That's what I thought was really funny about like AMD Epic and Thread Ripper mm -hmm. is how freaking ridiculous it looks. Yeah, just Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> that, that is almost twice the size. It's a fat process. Hello, Dad. Hello, my son. I'm replacing you. I hate you, Dad. You're not my real dad. Dad, no, no. I think you put it in the wrong space. I didn't put it in the wrong space. I did. Oh. I took a long time just sitting here and staring at this socket, and I figured out how to unlock it. If you look at the socket really closely, you can also tell from like reading the manual, like a, 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 a normal person. You probably can't see that. But up here, there's a little unlock symbol, and then the number one pointing to this. So. Basically what that means is you push down over you unlock So then you do of course process elimination the sec. Oh, oh god, my I god that, that that is spring-loaded one was spring-loaded <laughs> Okay, don't do that. Don't do that <laughs> And then open you like it's it's weird you like have to re-push this one down and then you can open the socket and then it's open. You might want to- I want you to back away from the socket. I don't trust you. Oh my god, it's so heavy. And then you just slide it in, and then after you do that, jiggle it around a little bit to make sure it's set. Zero retention force. Jiggle it around. And it doesn't move. And then, so then- And then you put- have to like push this back and down. Then and then push the cover back on. And then I gotta like- Push it down. 
do that, and then that pushes it down. Oh, do you need some help? No, I got it. I got it. 2011 socket ones are spring loaded, so it takes quite a bit of force to push them down. You don't realize how hard it's been for me these past few days just having these sit on my floor and like not opening them. You ready for this? They're freaking backwards. <laughs> Do it again. Do, do you just want to like restart the recording? <laughs> They're still backwards! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hey. you tried. Why did I turn on the turn on the To remove a dim, to insert a dim is really hell. Screw it, I'm putting it in the farthest ones. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this far one. Ram installation, like a boss, do the right side and then the left side not the right one. Meaning, not the corresponding one. Just to look stupid. There we go. Yay! And as you can see, the Corsair logos are facing, like, out. Which is stupid. But if I wanted... Oh, well, yeah, I'd, I I would have wished the Vengeance RGB logos would have faced like this way. Actually, I could see it this way. So you should complain cool. to them. Hey, Corsair, why did you make poop ram? Fix it right now. Update you hurt my feelings. Update it right now. It just, like, changes. Like, like, like some ethereal <laughs> being just changes it. Changes on the spot. Did I not? Oh, yeah, I should have changed it. So. Oh, uh, I was hoping it would be a different color. Is one of the spongy ones? Yes. Yeah, I think that might have been like narrow ATX. Because yeah. remember, I had like a, an opening right here. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this is yeah. longer. And, this is longer and stubbier. And EATX is more of a square, so EATX comes out to like here. Yeah. Actually, yeah, this is like. Oh, I still have my freaking flat. It's things. fatter, but sh like shorter. You're fat. Head's in the way. Thanks. Okay, so that's clipped in place. Is it? And then if I like pull it really tight it like that, it kind of looks like it's out. That could just be my that, that perception, yeah. I guess. But it looks like this one is like Gosh, out more. It looks like it's like they're actually angled. both in. It looks like they're angled though. Yeah, it's because they're pulling on it that way. It's actually in though, so I'm cool. gonna call that a win. Get push harder. All right, that's good. Yay, that's like the worst line method ever. Well, it's because I wasn't doing it with both hands. I forgot that I wasn't holding a phone, so I didn't. I was gonna say, you hand. might wanna like, we're gonna wanna pull these cables back. Now, just set it right on top. Is, is it, it in? Is it in all the holes? I think so. I believe it is. It's okay, don't worry about it. There's, not, there's totally not a thumb screw inside of my fan right now. <laughs> George. Come on. Where is it? I don't know. That is the question. Oh, I found it. It's all the way down there. Guess what? I get to rip my graphic card out. Good thing it wasn't screwed in. Oh, oh, oh air drop. Hey, you know, if you break this one, you always have the backup. Yeah, my 960. Let's go. Okay, there it is. Okay, I think it's okay. Oh. And now I get to put it back in. You get to have the pleasure of snapping it back in again. Yeah. Don't drop it in the fan this time. That's what I did with Michael's. It like fell into the shroud. I don't think I broke it. Okay, I think it's time for front panel connectors. We, we got it done. Uh, don't, don't worry about the graphics card. Yeah, All right, press it. Ooh. Pretty RAM! Yay. That's plugged in. Is it plugged into the graphics card? Okay, is it recording? It did a thing. No signal. Hey! Hey! I is a happy boy. It has pretty lights. What else do you need to say? Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're really awkward. Well, I didn't have anything else to say. Yay. 
Yay!